There was a time when Pharah was literally unplayable. McCree used to have range that rivaled Widowmakers, and in case you don't remember, Zenyatta's Discord Orb used to apply a 50% damage debuff instead of 30. That meant McCree could do 210 damage per headshot at most ranges on a given map. During that time, people reacted to a Pharah pick pretty similarly to a Hanzo pick we see today. After some buffs and nerfs to Zen, McCree, and even Pharah, she became a force to be reckoned with to the point that even pros were starting to use her more regularly. There was still, however, another hero that surprisingly dealt with Pharah in a practical way without resorting to a niche pick like Widowmaker. And we didn't really see this until a certain South Korean player by the name of Roo Jae Hong, you may have heard of this guy, used the new support Ana that was added to the game to 3-shot Pharah very easily and then continue to heal their team. Ana herself didn't sway Pharah players completely, but they did have to learn to play around Ana the way they did with McCree and Soldier. Her rifle used to do 80 damage per shot, which again is a 3-tap kill on a Pharah, and 2 taps on a Tracer. Her rifle was nerfed to 60, which makes Pharah a 4-shot kill now. Not very ideal when trying to balance your DPS output with healing output. Then comes along the huge Mercy changes. The Pharah Mercy combo Pharmacy was already pretty strong around this time, but the massive changes to Mercy brought it up a notch. Even to the point where for the first time, Mercy was actually played by the world's best Overwatch teams in high profile tournaments, including the recent 2017 Overwatch World Cup. Further Mercy changes are coming shortly at the time of this video, which will bring her res ability down a bit and make it a bit difficult to use at the beginning of a team fight. While this doesn't necessarily affect the Pharmacy combo, the buff coming to Ana is. They are not bringing her damage back up to 80, but instead bringing it up to just 10 points from 60 to 70. This change may not give Ana the ability to 2-tap Tracers like she used to, but it will allow her to 3-tap any 200 HP heroes again, including the sometimes troublesome Pharah. I play exclusively on console, because I enjoy being a console peasant. And Pharah on console is stronger because of the difficulty of using hitscan heroes with a controller. So as much as everyone's answer to a good Pharah is to pick up Soldier or McCree, it isn't always ideal, especially on console. Pharah can play out of range of both McCree and Soldier, and if she's really good, she will concussion mine herself on top of them to make them shooting her more difficult and just two tap them with rockets. On console, it's very difficult to outplay a good Pharah that's doing this. So with Ana being able to 3-tap Pharahs again, it will give another hero on the field that can apply pressure on a Pharah and you don't quote unquote need a McCree or Soldier pick to deal with her. And Ana has no damage drop off like McCree and Soldier. I know there's D.Va too, but in Plat, hardly any D.Vas even pay attention to Pharah. And there's still another element to all of this, the addition of a new support hero. I feel after the nerf, some Mercy mains may be looking to try another support. And the addition of Moira to the roster may help out because she is not accuracy dependent like Ana, but can be more active in a fight compared to Mercy in terms of damage output while healing. And from the footage I've seen, Moira puts out a ton of healing. About 75 to 80 per second, if I remember correctly, which is like Ana's healing. All this to say that Farah is getting a passive nerf, and as much as I enjoy Farah, I'm even happier that a support as difficult as Ana may finally start to see an increased pick rate again and possibly more than Mercy. Who knows? What do you guys think? What are your meta predictions with the next patch update? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.